In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can model a Geneva drive in sim mechanics. A Geneva drive is made up of two parts. As the drive wheel rotates, a pin on the drive wheel enters and exits four slots on the Geneva. For each full rotation of the drive wheel, the Geneva rotates a quarter of a turn. These two parts touch each other in a number of ways. The pin on the drive wheel will enter and exit four slots on the Geneva. A shoulder on the drive wheel will encounter four different arcs on the Geneva. This is what makes it challenging, modeling all of the contacts between these two parts. We will see how we can do this in sim mechanics. In the model, we'll see parameterized contact models that model each of the contacts between these two parts. Using these models, we can achieve the desired motion of the Geneva drive. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here is the model that we're working with. These two colored subsystems represent the parts in our Geneva drive. When we update the block diagram, a three-dimensional representation of the Geneva drive is generated. Here you can see the Geneva and the drive wheel. When we run the simulation, we can see that the Geneva drive rotates as expected. For each full revolution of the drive wheel, the Geneva rotates a quarter of a turn. That is also shown on this scope which shows the simulation results. Let's take a closer look at how the contact forces were added to this model. We categorized the contact between the drive wheel and the Geneva into three different categories. The shoulder encountering the arcs of the Geneva, the shoulder encountering the tips of the Geneva, and the pin entering and exiting the slots in the Geneva. By categorizing the contact between these two parts into these three distinct categories, we can reuse parameterized contact force laws to model the contact. Going into this subsystem, we can see that we've used a circle to line contact. This model is the same in all four cases. We are simply referencing the four different slots on the Geneva. Looking at the dialog box, we can see that we have used MATLAB variables to parameterize this force law. This allows us to very easily adjust the contact model using MATLAB. Additional different force laws are available for us to try, including a linear, nonlinear, and a custom one if you'd like to implement your own custom contact model. Here is a summary of the approach we used to add contact forces to this model. First, we identified the surfaces or points that may touch. The slots and the arcs of the Geneva will encounter the shoulder and the pin of the drive wheel. We then categorize these contacts according to available contact forces. We can model these contacts using circle to line and circle to ring. Next, we identified or created reference frames for each of these surfaces. We added frames for the slots, the arches, the shoulders, and the drive pin of the two parts. Finally, we connected the frames to the contact force models, assigned parameters, and simulated. In this demonstration, we have seen how we can add contact forces to a Geneva drive. 